All right, guys. It is another snowy midwinter day here in mid-November. It is now Sunday afternoon. It is November 20th, 2022. We are looking out at soon to be sunset at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But anyway, uh, one thing I can say is uh, Sancho Panza and I both have had a lot of time to sit here and really spend some time digesting the big news stories of the day. And uh, Sancho has taken a few days off of chipmunk chasing to really get down and find out what is important going on, you know, the big stories in the news, you know, the big stories in the news. So he and I, we have been having these long in-depth conversations about all of the big stories uh, unfolding on the planet that the mainstream media is telling us about. And good God, guys, I could take any one of these stories, any one of these stories and go tearing off on some two hour rant that about 15 people on the planet would uh, spend uh, about three minutes listening to me rant about. But there's no point in that because right here next to me, I, I have someone who uh, has spent as much time as I have on the mainstream media in the past few days. That would be none other than... Uh, than Sancho Panza. Uh, so we are going to bring on Sancho Panza now that the battery light is flashing. So we're just going to boil this all down before the battery hangs up on us. And uh, Sancho Panza, I'm just going to go through the three big stories on the planet. I really want you to cut through all of the bullshit, all of the news and analysis and tell us everything we need to know about the big stories on the planet. So let's start with the announcement of Donald Trump. Donald Trump, some uh, spoiled brat little billionaire, uh, announcing his run for the 2024 presidential election. Sancho Panza, what is everything we need to know about Donald Trump running for president two years from now? Take it away. Hold nothing back. Well, I think that is the most cogent analysis of everything we need to know about the issue so we never need to pay it any attention again because we have learned everything we need to know. Okay, speaking of spoiled brat little mouthy billionaires, uh, we all know that Elon Musk has now taken over Twitter and it appears that Twitter might be on its last legs. Uh, this, of course, is uh, one of the biggest stories, if not the biggest story on the planet, is how Twitter might be going off the air thanks to Elon Musk. So, Sancho Banza, I know you have been studying this issue. Tell us everything we need to know about Elon Musk running Twitter into the ground. Everything that we need to know about the subject so we never need to think about it again. Take it away, Sancho. Once again, I think you have really drilled to the core of that story. And now we know everything we ever need to know about the subject of Elon Musk running Twitter into the ground. But of course, we all know what the big doomer news has been this week. And that has been 
the dog and pony show over there in somewhere in Ethiopia or somewhere like that. I can't remember where. The COP27, I think, is finally wrapped up. So I know you have been following every step of the Dog and Pony Show. So Sancho Panza, since I am boycotting uh, the Dog and Pony Show, and you are a dog, what is your opinion of what was accomplished at COP27? Tell the uh, world everything they need to know about COP27 and what it means for the future of the planet. So, uh, take it away, Sancho. COP27. All right. I really, really think you have zeroed in right to the meat of the matter. Once again, we now know everything we ever need to know about what was accomplished at COP27. But of course, those are the three big stories of the week, but we can already see what the biggest story on the horizon in the mainstream media is. And that obviously, now that the uh, Republicans have... have uh, taken a slim majority in the House of Representatives, we can expect that Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden will be the uh, biggest story on the planet here coming up that uh, we can look forward to, uh, good Lord, the deluge that we're going to get about Hunter Biden. Can you please, Sancho Panza, can you please just let us know before we even get into it? For those of us who are not paying enough attention to the Hunter Biden story, could you please tell us everything that we need to know about Hunter Biden so we don't even need to bother reading the uh, deluge of mainstream media coverage we're going to get on the Hunter Biden distraction. Sancho Panza, what do we need to know about Hunter Biden? All right. I happen to agree with you 100%. By the way, uh, you know, I should just let this little dog do my ranting for me because, I mean, he just covered eight minutes. Eight minutes. Sancho Panza has told us everything we need to know about Donald Trump announcing his presidential run. Elon Musk running Twitter into the ground, COP27, and Hunter Biden. You now know every single thing you will ever need to know about any of those subjects for the rest of your life. And we can thank Sancho Panza. So now, Sancho, since you have finished sharing your, uh, your knowledge with us, do you is there a chippy or what? Is it time to get chippies or what like that? Is it a chippy or not? A chippy? Is it a chippy? Where's a chippy? Is it a mousy? A mousy. Where's a mousy? Is it a mousy? Is there a rat? Is there a rat like that? Where's a rat? Where's a chippy? Where's that chippy? Where's that mousy? I don't know where is that chippy like that. Is there a chippy in the snow like that? Could be a chippy. Oh no, you don't have your booty, you're a little too cold. Get out there and get your chippies while you still can. Sancho, there's a rat. Is that a rat? Is it coming to the door while I'm out? Oh my god.